Good day, everyone. So what I'll be presenting is the feature in NetSuite we call inbound shipment. So just a quick introduction on what this feature does is that it allows us to track key information relating to the progress of a shipment in a single place. So the fields which are actually available on this record are the status, the expected delivery date, and then the bill of lading. So in this interface, or on the interface of the item shipment, items can be assigned to the inbound shipment from multiple POs and received directly from within the record. So the features support bulk receiving. Okay, so let me just quickly show you how this feature works. So for you to be able to create an inbound shipment, you just need to go to transactions, purchases, and create inbound shipment. Okay, all right. So on this interface, you will be able to see um, the external document, the expected shipping date, um, and then you could also identify here the vessel number and the bill of lading. And then um, here under the item subtop, this is where you could actually associate multiple purchase orders. And then let's say that I'll be receiving purchase order 25. And then you could select in here which item you want to receive. So I will be receiving this first item. And then take note that this feature supports partial receiving. So let's say that initially the item or on the purchase order, you have two items. And then you're already expect that you're only expecting to receive one item. So you can do that. And then you will notice that the quantity remaining is updated. Okay. So let me just select the rest of the items. So I'll select PO25 again for the second line. And then I'll receive the second item. Okay, and then I'll just click add. Let's go to the second purchase order, which is PO27. I'll receive again all the items. And as here as well on the um, inbound shipment interface, you could also associate or you could also manage here the landed cost. So you just have to select here um, the cost category, how much is the amount, what is the currency, so I'll select Australian dollar, and you could also identify here the exchange rate, and then you could identify here the allocation method. So under the associated items, column, you can identify if this specific um, landed cost category will be associated to which specific item. So I will associate all this, um, I will associate this landed cost category to all the items. So I'll select all, and then I'll click add grow. Then I will add again another cost category for um, insurance. So I'll put 250 in here per currency is Australian dollar. Allocation method is quantity, but you can also identify if it's value or weight. And then for the associated items, I will select again all these items. Okay, I'll click add row, and then I'll click save. Okay, so Next thing now is I will mark this um, item as, or I'll mark this inbound shipment as marked in transit. Okay, so next thing now is, this is actually the actual receiving of your inbound shipment. So you just have to click on the receive button. Okay, and then from here, you can identify the receiving location to which you will associate or to which these items will be delivered. So I'll select this, um, I will select the receiving location as BSPS for all the items.
Okay, and then here as well on this interface is you could assign the inventory detail of the item. Okay, so let's say that this is, um, I'll just auto-generate quantity two, okay. Okay, so quantity five. Okay, and then this item is three. Okay, and then for the last item, this is quantity two. Okay. Okay, so once you have already filled up all the necessary information, you just have to click save. Okay, and you will now be redirected to this page of the process status. So you just have to click refresh until it sets to complete. Okay. Okay, so this has now been set to complete. So if we're going to click on the submission status, okay, you will now be redirected or you will now see the item receipts which have been created from the inbound shipment record. So if I'm just going to open these two item receipts, okay, and then if we're going to check on the landed cost um, column, you will see that um, the landed cost amounts have been properly proportioned based on the quantity. Okay. And then if we're going to check on the GL impact, so it has already associated the landed cost column or the landed cost amount to the amount of our inventory. Okay, so if we go back now to your, um, if we go back now to your inbound shipment record, from there, you could check um, the inventory or the item receipt records which have been created. So there will be a column in here called related transactions. And then from here, you could check the item receipt related. And that's it. So that's actually how inbound shipment record or inbound shipment feature NetSuite in NetSuite works.